Hello, my name is Robert and today I'm going to show you a basic overview of the sampling tree add-on in Blender. So if you don't have it installed, or you just want to go into File, User Preferences, and in the Add-ons tab, if you look up for Tree, this should appear and you want to check this box and save user settings, okay? So let's close that and I'm actually going to delete everything on my scene. So press A and X and I'm going to do Shift A and in the curves, uh, in the curve option, you'll see sapling tree gen. So you want to press there and you'll see that uh, some blinds appear with the shape of a tree. So first of all, we actually want to press the bevel and what the bevel will do, it will make like the edges, um, so it will turn it come to it will turn them kind of like into a cylinder into a cylinder and we can also make the bevel resolution higher because it's actually a cube over here i don't know if you can see it so i want you to make it higher and as you can see it's adding um more faces okay and we can also make the curve resolution much higher which will basically affect um these branches so if we put them up to seven and well it's actually quite high once you put it uh, to six and you can play with these settings and see what uh, works well for you and if actually in the shape we can change a lot of things we can go into 10 flame which is the one that we are already had into flame to burst tapper cylindrical and many more. I actually really like the cylindrical one. And there are a lot to, there are many to play with. So just make sure to see which one you like for your scene. And now if we go into the branch splitting, we can add more branches that appear from these sub branches. So if where we have two levels, if we only have one, we will only have this very long stick. So I'm going to try it with three and maybe even with four, see what that looks like. And as you can see, it did take a little bit more to uh, pop up because it's actually a lot of um, faces. So just leave it to three, especially if you're going to use it like in games and stuff like that. And you can also add like a base split and you can play with like the height and stuff which you can't really see, it, does, it doesn't really make that big of a difference but w once you play with all these you might get like the perfect shape so also we also have branch growth which basically just supposedly makes the branches a bit longer you can't really tell the difference you can you can play with these settings as well and you c this will basically make it like lower and stuff because your it's length and you have many 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 options so you can make so you can play with the angles some settings don't really do that much of a difference some other ones like just completely like make it look like a completely different tree so just uh get a reference of the tree that you want to make and play with the settings and try to get that tree shape you can also add leaves just by pressing sh on show leaves and it will uh, the more uh, subdivisions sorry subdivisions the more branches you have the more uh, leaves will appear but if you don't have many branches you can just uh, this basically adds 25 leaves per branch so if you want for example I don't know, like 70 if you want to go crazy uh it will you will have like pretty much 70 um leaves per branch and you can have like different shapes of leaves which is pretty cool and that's actually ooh, that doesn't look very nice and that does these are like really really tiny tiny leaves I like the hexagonal leaves they have like a uh have like uh six edges and you can also play with these settings quite a bit. And I would recommend to actually just, I want you to lower the number of leaves I have. Because I'm also recording. So if you want to play with these settings, I would recommend to lower it quite a bit. 
so you can see if it actually makes a difference and you can also um, make animations uh, armature and stuff for uh, for like wind and all that kind of stuff and if you select the tree and press alt C you can transform it into a mesh which is awesome if you want to like add textures or stuff it's something I didn't know when I started using this add-on and I didn't know how to add textures to a curve so there you go I really hope this tutorial was useful so make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions or have any questions or whatever make sure to comment so see you in the next one bye